Hello, I'm Sydney Neely, and it's time for the shortcut. Last month, Yellowstone National Park experienced severe flooding in parts of the park. As a result, some travelers prematurely canceled their summer trips. Now, just after a few weeks of recovery, the park has reopened, presenting a great opportunity for tourists looking to book a last minute trip to the park that is so often sold out all summer long. Joining us with details is Rick Honinghausen from Yellowstone National Park Lodges. Thank you, Rick, for joining us. I'm glad to be here today to share with you the latest from Yellowstone National Park. The park is definitely open. The National Park Service and its partners did an amazing job in orchestrating the recovery process. Probably the best news of this whole thing is that all the natural features that make Yellowstone so special and bring people here from all over the world are still available and accessible. About 93% of all the roads are available to the public as we speak. Uh, in terms of entrances, uh, three of the five entrances have reopened, two of them in Wyoming and one of them in Montana. In fact, visitors can see basically everything they normally would. We still have all those great geysers, including Old Faithful. We've got the wildlife, bison and elk and bears and everything we would normally have, you can see, and hot springs. And this is kind of a pleasant surprise probably for our visitors. You can still find lodging here. Seven of our nine hotels are open and there's a space available. At peak season, you can still find a room or a campsite in Yellowstone National Park. And we have tours, we have our restaurants, we have all our regular facilities, gift shops as well. So it's very much what the experience would typically be. But you don't have to take my word for it. We caught up with some people out in the park this past weekend, and here's what they had to say. Certainly the animals haven't uh, paid any attention to the closures. <laughs> I feel like we've seen more than we've ever actually seen, in yeah. terms of wildlife especially, because yeah. it doesn't seem like there's as many cars. We didn't consider canceling. Uh, I've got to see tons of buffalo, tons of bison. It's been pretty, pretty great. Certainly if anybody still has questions uh, about what's going on, what the park services are, flood recovery, weather, all that's available at the National Park Service website, nps.gov slash y-e-l-l. And if you're interested in staying in the park, you can make those reservations and check availability at Yellowstone National Park Lodges. Com. Thanks so much for having me. Thank you for joining us. Once again, for more information, you can visit nps.gov slash Y-E-L-L. That's all the time that we have for tonight's show. I'm Sydney Neely, and I'll catch you next time on The Shortcut.